ever since I've been using this eye makeup technique, I never really think about going for a regular winged sharp eyeliner anymore, especially not on my hooded eyes and this is why. So I'm sure you will not either after watching this tutorial. Hello, I'm Haja, welcome to my channel. If you're into beauty, makeup and lifestyle topics, make sure to follow me on my journey by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So without further ado, let's dive into this tutorial. First of all, start on an already prepared eyelid. I had my concealer and setting powder on the lid beforehand, so I'm starting right away by using a creamy co-liner by L'Oreal Paris called Le Cool by Superliner in the shade Midnight Black. I'm starting by applying a mini wing by extending my upper lash line. It doesn't need to look sharp, just frame the outer V of the eye. Then go on and line the rest of the upper lash line. I applied the coal up until the center of the lid. Next, I use an angled eyeliner brush without product on and just smudge the unsharp wing outwards towards my temples. This is how the uneven wing turns sharp and at the same time faded. I also even out the coal on the lid with the brush by going back and forth. Can you follow how easy this is? It is so much easier than using an eyeliner product, plus the lines look so harmonious and enhance the eye shape without creating hard edges like a regular wing. And that's it basically for the smudged winged eyeliner application. You could wear this any time of the day, but let's emphasize the look further. Here we're applying the burgundy shade Love Bite from the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette on top of the winged liner using the angled eyeliner brush from previously. Just apply even pigmented strokes on top of the coal. You can also use another color of your choice to smudge with the coal. Then with a petite blending brush, we blend the shade Love Bite on top until it looks smudged. Just go back and forth with the brush. To further blend the liner, we now use a classic blending brush and blend in sweeping motions until all hard edges are faded. By the way, the link to the Alpha Makeup brush set is down in the description box. Alpha Makeup is my own personal beauty brand and the brush set was made with a lot of passion for you guys, so make sure to preview them. Next with the detailing brush from the Alpha brush set, we cut half of our crease using a small amount of concealer by Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20. Just carve out the eye socket with the concealer up until the center of the lid. The concealer will make our upcoming highlighting shades pop out even more. Once the concealer is blended well, we apply the shade Crave on top of the concealed part using our finger. You can also use a flat dance applicator brush, I just was in the mood of using my finger. Next, I dab another sparkly shade called Galaxia from the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. This shade has a lot of small glitters, which makes it a perfect top coat for sparkly looks. Now we reapply a little coal on top of the upper lash line and also line the whole upper waterline to further thicken our lash line. Next, we move on to the outer third of the lower lash line. We apply the shade Love Bite on the outer part of the lower lash line with the angled brush and on top we apply coal for a nice contrast of shades. To brighten up the inner corner and the brow bone, we go on top of them using a dense applicator brush by Alpha Makeup with the powder highlighter by MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. Then I curl my lashes to prepare them for the mascara application. Once 
Once the lashes are curled, I apply one coat of mascara on each eye using the mascara by Fenty Beauty called Full Frontal Volume Mascara. This look can be worn without falsies, but I wanted it to look more occasional, hence I did use my natural looking falsies by the brand KISS from their series My Lashes But Better in the design Blessed. I trimmed the inner corner of the falsies to have more volume on the outer part of my eye because that will help to elongate the eyes and lift them further. I assure you it works wonders, especially on my hooded eyes. Whenever I wear a more heavy eye makeup, I apply my concealer under the eyes in the end to make sure the look overall looks precise and clean. Here I have applied my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and blend it into my skin using a dampened beauty blender. Then I set the fluid concealer right away using a translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier. That's it basically for this gorgeous, smoky, sparkly eye makeup look. We have a nice winged liner, all created without any eyeliner products. Trust me, this look will be your new go-to look once you've tried it. So try it out and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for great content just like this one. I upload every weekend, so hit the bell notification to not miss out on the next upload. Thank you.